Okay, hey guys. We're going to configure PuTTY. I'm um, assuming you already have it installed. So when you double click on it, this little window comes up. And in the host name or IP, you're going to type ssh.sullens.net. Make sure the SSH option is clicked there. And down there for the what to do on exit, I choose only on a clean exit. You can name this session anything you want to, but I'm going to call it CINS258. Now, over here on the left hand side, there's all kinds of options. I'll let you look through and figure out what you want to do with those. Once you get your profile in there, click Save, and you'll see that in the list now. From now on, when you open up, you can just double click on that and go straight in. But for now, we're going to click Open. You'll be greeted with this login prompt. So put in the username and password. This is the same username and password that you used in 157. Once you get logged in, you'll see the warning message there. Let that scare you. And every time you log in, you'll see my office hours for the current semester. The first thing you're going to want to do every time you log in is to change into your public directory. So type cd space public underscore html slash then you'll type CINS258 and a slash. And since we're going to do most of our work in our demos directory, we'll be switching into it, but let's take a look around first. LS will give you a list of the directories that are there. And you'll see in your 258 directory, you've got demos, homework, exams, and project. If you type ls space minus lowercase l, you'll see a long listing that gives more detailed information, including the permissions. RWX there on the left-hand side, but we'll talk about that later. If you ever need to clear the screen, the command is just clear. Now let's move into our demos directory, cd space demos, and press enter. I'm going to take a look around in here, ls, and you'll see that in the demos directory there is a directory for every chapter 1 through 16. I have some extra stuff that you won't have. Now let's go into chapter 1. CD space chapter 01. Take a look around, LS. You see we've got chapter 01a.php in there. We'll play with it later on. To move up one level, type CD space dot dot and press enter. Notice we were in chapter 1, now we're one level up in demos. Let's go up one more level again, CD space dot dot. Now we've gone from demos back up to CINS 258. Now when you do your homework, you'll need to be in that directory, so from CINS 258 you can type CD space homework and press enter. And we have gone from 258 down into the homework directory. An LS to take a quick look around, and looks like I don't have all of mine set up, but you'll have a lab directory for every one of the labs that you'll be doing. Going to do a quick clear. Now if you want to see what's in all of your lab directories, ls space lab and the asterisk. And since I only have lab 1, lab 4, lab 7, and lab 11, there it gives you what's in each one of them. Now here's an interesting thing for you. If you're in homework and you want to move directly into the demos directory, you'll need to go up a level, then down into demos. So cd space dot dot slash demos and press enter. Now notice we've gone from public underscore html cins258 slash homework 
to public underscore html slash cins258 slash devops. <coughs> wow, excuse me. A quick clear, and then I'll take a quick look around with an ls, and let's say that I'm done. Don't just turn it off. Don't just shut down. Type exit, E-X-I-T, and press enter. <laughs>